of Jamaica would have gotten on the plane as the Jamaican number two is now the Jamaican number one in the event because Natrice East is not taking part in the 100. East focusing on the 200 only. As we go through the lineup, Mackenzie Crabb of the British Virgin Islands will start in lane number two. I have to imagine she's related to Dion Crabb. Comes in with a 12.68 seed time. Might have to improve on that. Well, will have to improve on that if she is to make the championship race later on. She starts in lane number two. Here's a look at the lineup. Cram goes in two. Tiana Richardson of Trinidad and Tobago in three. Pashana Lee Blake of Jamaica in four. J.D. Manuel of St. Lucia in five. Kimia Fitz of St. Kitts and Nevis in lane six. Aneta Mitchell of Anguilla in seven. And Kiana Henschel of the Bahamas in lane number eight. Blake of Jamaica, the clear favorite in uh, this heat. And remember, only the fastest, only the winner of each heat advances on position. Right now, 12.75, the number to look at in terms of the bubble number. A couple of athletes Kenzie here who've been in the low 12s. I think J.D. Emanuel produced a sub-12 run towards the end of last year. Kiana Richardson, Trinidad and Tobago, 12.27. Third and penultimate heat of the under-17 girls. 100 meters, Phipps of St. Kitts and Nevis, delighted to be here at the Carifta Games, broad smile. As a pensive looking Aneta Mitchell of Anguilla stands in lane number seven, there is Henschel of Bahamas in lane eight. On your marks. Semi-final round of the under 17 girls, 100 meters. We had preliminaries scheduled for this morning. Not contested as all the athletes were advanced to this stage. Finals will be this evening. The fireworks to conclude the opening day. Stand up, stand up. Yeah, once again, another issue at the start. We've seen this all day. And once again, the competitors been asked to stand. It's good experience for the athletes, but it's not what you want to happen. Certainly, you want them to, to be able to have the experience of being in the best position to perform well. 12.85 is the bubble time at this stage. 12.75. Yes, correction. 12.75 is the bubble time at this stage. Sah of Guadeloupe, 12.44. Tobias of Trinidad and Tobago, 12.50. Wallace of the Bahamas, 12.54. And Jones of Bermuda, 12.75. Those are the ones on the bubble. We take the four automatic qualifiers. That's the four heat winners. Hinkson of Guyana already through. So too Etienne of Dominica. Set. Up they go for the third and penultimate heat. Pashana Lee Blake of Jamaica got away well, but she has competition from Emmanuel of St. Lucia. And Emmanuel of St. Lucia pushing Blake all the way. Blake just holds on and goes sub-12 as well. 11.94, but that's a brilliant run coming from Jada Emmanuel of St. Lucia. And that, I think, should be good enough to get her into the final as well. She gave Pushana Lee Blake all she could handle in that first round heat. Semi-final round heat, 11.98 is the time for Pushana Lee Blake of Jamaica. A really nice run from Emmanuel coming out of Chozel in St. Lucia down on the southwest coast. Um, you see her coming out there. And uh, not the tightest of technique, but she is giving it uh, all. And she's really pushing Pushana Lee uh, to the utmost. Both of them battling to the line. And uh, Blake just 
being able to come up with it. You see that lack of relaxation uh, by the young St. Lucian, 15 years old, her first time on the Carifta stage, um, perhaps just costing her towards the end of that race. And uh, Emmanuel, 12.03. Blake, 11.98. Uh, Richardson, 12.28. Crab, 12.40. So a number of those young ladies who were on the bubble are uh, now, unfortunately, off it. If they were in uh, world competition, Ricardo, they would be in the bubble room. And exiting just about now. 